I really think I got started in high school. My favorite class in high school was home economics. And when I got into corporate training, I realized how much I liked educating people and that I was missing that little piece. But the thing I really liked was educating people about skills, training them to do something. And so I just sort of landed at Georgia State University and landed in this program where I was working with people just like myself, changing careers, people like myself that came from maybe a trade or an occupation that were going to become teachers. I like all the different personalities of my students. No two students are the same, even though they might be teaching um, the same content area. And I love working with them and seeing something click in them and watching them get excited and watching them really do well as teachers. That's what I like. It's all about the people. I think one of the toughest things I've faced is all of my students are adult learners and they come in with preconceived notions um, about teaching. I think the way that I've really met that challenge is I'm not a whole lot different than them. I changed careers. I understand the obstacles in front of you uh, when you are changing a career, but at some level I have to make them understand when you change careers you need new skills. I think career tech opens doors for students to do some career exploration, some career development early on to have a, a, a better thought and about what life is going to be about when they get out of going to school all day long. I also think our country is in deep need of skilled labor. I think we're in deep need of people that have workplace skills, even if they're not labor, those soft skills that our workers need. And I think taking courses in career tech, whether it be in the high school or at the post-secondary level, helps build those both types of skills, both the hard and the soft skills. So for me, being a part of ACTE, um, it's about the relationships. It's about once a year I see my friend from Oklahoma that does the same thing that I do at Oklahoma State. But taking that a little further, I always learn new things at the ACTE conferences, whether it's a best practice or strategies or whether it's about legislation coming up that's going to affect me as a CTE educator. So uh, the knowledge part of being a part of ACT is very important. You can't find that information in other places. I'm also a member of ACTER, which is the research part, and so I'm really grateful that there are some little subsections within ACTE where we can even hone down and gravitate towards people more like ourselves.